Hello, this is Jeff with uh, j and Junction. <clears throat> I'm going to do a how-to video on a, uh, a Line L fast track crossing signal with bell sounds. Um, uh, there's a gentleman on YouTube that said his crossing was working all the time. So um, I'm going to point out some uh, things here to for this gentleman so he can uh, get his crossing and stuff hooked up right. Um, so here we go. Okay, now here's the crossing. Okay, a little advice here. It says right here on the bottom of it here, it says insulated side. Okay, when I first got this crossing, I put this crossing on the insulated side on the outside rail. And whenever the train would run, um, it would slow down and just voltage would drop down and, that, and everything and the train just would not run right. And also I went to check the power on it and the center rail and the outside rail uh, did not have no power on it until the train entered the block. And so I could not figure it out why it was doing that. So, And uh, like I said, I read the, the owner's manual on it. It says you could do it on the outside or the inside rail. Um, but with your wires being hooked up to the, the inside rail and the outside rail, it, it really can't go either way. So, um, this insulated rail needs to go on the inside rail all the time. Um, you know, with and then this and your TD, this is the power side uh, rail, and then this is the ground. Okay, um, and also, there is a switch right here where you could turn the bell on and off. Um, like I say, I have this thing here. Actually, I have this crossing turned around wrong here. Let me turn it around the right way. Okay, so that's the way this crossing is supposed to go. So this is the insulated side here. And then this is the hot side and this is the ground. Okay, and here's your little uh, five-inch uh, piece of track, insulated track. Okay, there's a little broken piece right here where I'm rubbing my finger across right here. Okay, this has got to go on the inside rail as well. Um, and then when the train enters this, makes con the wheels make contact on it, it, it will make it the, the crossing come on. Now if I turn it around the other way, this way where the, the broken rail is on the outside rail, as soon as you turn the power on, the crossing will work all the time, and it's not. And, and so you got your piece turned around wrong. So it always has to go on the inside, on the inside rail, on the insulated side of the crossing rail here. And the same way with this other one, it's got to be like that too. It's got to have. It's got to be on the inside. If you turn this one around, as well. If this one turned around this way and then that one turned around right, it, it won't make any difference. It still will make your crossing come on as soon as you turn the power on. Also, if you want to, uh, for your crossing to kick on sooner, um, like the real railroad, how I think they usually come on uh, approximately maybe about a half a mile, maybe a mile back you know the, the crossing will kick on before the train gets to the crossing um, now if you put this in straight track like say you have like uh, for example you have three pieces of straight 10 inch line fast track on each side and you want that crossing to kick on back here in that in that third section you got to take this ground strap off underneath all three pieces on each side so you got to take that off if you, if you don't they it then uh, it will you know as soon as you turn the power on the crossing will run all the time so you don't want it to do that so so you have to take this ground strap off all you got to do is just bend these little tabs up here and and with a little screwdriver and just pull that right off and you can leave it off it don't hurt anything um, 
like say it uh, now if you have a pretty good size layout um, they uh, they've been having trouble with uh, with some of the uh, with the legacy and the TMCC uh, not getting good uh, reception or signal um, there's been on the OGR form I think they had to put like diodes and stuff in it uh, now if you have just a moderate size layout and you know, just a small layout which mine's only a, a four foot by ten foot um, like I say yeah, that it won't really affect anything but if you go anything bigger than that or if you have a lot of trackage and stuff uh, you will um, it, you will have uh, probably signal and uh, issues with the with the legacy engines and the TMCC engines uh, but anyway, uh, but like I say, you got to remove this ground strap, and then like I say, you just hook that up like this. To the, just just an example, you got to hook it up like this to the to the crossing. And then you have to put this piece. of Remember, this has got to be on the inside rail, just like this. In order to you know, if you have this turned around. The other way, it's going to make that crossing kick on all the time. See, it's a, you don't want that. See, you have to put this inside rail, and you know, on this, uh, on the inside, inside all the time. See, but uh, if you turn around the other way, even if you got the crossing around the other way, the train will not run right. It, it will slow down, the voltage will drop, and everything. It will not work right. See. So you have to have this on the inside rail. So, but you can take these. Like I say, you have to remember you have to take these ground straps off, or they won't. Or, they, or as soon as you, even though if you have this hooked up to this, as soon as you turn the power on, it will make that crossing come on still, even though the train is not entered the block, because this ground strap makes a complete circuit. So when your train enters to enter this block. And then metal wheels and stuff and everything, it, that what makes the complete circuit. So you have to have that, you know, see, so that's why you have to have that ground strap off. Um, also, you can hook this up a different way, this crossing. Just turn it around here. Um, you can remove this red wire right here and hook up another wire to this wire and hook it. To a, a, a transformer on the hot side but you have to use another transformer um, you um, have to what you have to do you have to face the two transformers in uh, you have to have the uh, the red and the hot hooked up to your track for your train to run and then you got to have a black hooked up to the transformer that runs the train to the other side, uh, to the other transformer on the black side, and then you got to hook this red one up to the hot side, to the red side on the other transformer. That's called uh, phasing in the transformers. If you don't do that, it will mess this crossing up. It will. This has got a board in here, and it may blow it up. I haven't tried it, but it may blow it up. So I don't want to you know, do that. Uh, and then whenever you have your train running on the track, you know, even though you have the, tra uh, the, the, the other transformer on, you're having power on your crossing. And, but and then when you got your train shut off, if your train is in the block of this crossing, this crossing will be working even though your train is shut off. Which that's really kind of, it's prototypical for that. Um, I don't have mine hooked up like that because if I had a permanent layout, a big layout, you know, I, I would probably do that because then I could just set my transformers up and, and just leave it. But since I set up on the floor, um, I don't, I just don't worry about it. See, so it, it doesn't really bother me, but I do um, have. Uh, uh, six curve uh, pieces that I took the ground straps off and and then I put these in behind it You know in this now if you put this piece up here at the crossing too um, 
even though if you have these pieces back here with the ground strap off of it, it still will not kick on until the train enter this block right here. It won't make any difference. But now if you have your pieces hooked up to this first, then you don't have this in behind it, you know, it will make, uh, your crossing uh, will kick on all the time. But like I say, if you have it like that, then, then like I say, if you, even if you have your pieces back here with the ground strap off of it, and then it won't still won't work until it enters. And then if you put your three pieces on there, then you got to put this behind it in order to, you know, in order for it to, for it to kick on. So that makes a complete, when that gets in there, that makes a complete circuit. So, uh, but anyway, um, but like I say, that's the, the hope is to help this gentleman out. Um, like I say, and here's two. Um, like I say, you just got your crossings here, and they kind of plug in here. You know, and these, and, you know, these are got LED bulbs in them on both of them. So it, um, But like I say, remember, like I say, you just got to, you got to take this ground strap off, you know, too, so. Okay, uh, this will be all. Um, I hope I help this gentleman out on YouTube. Uh, please uh, subscribe, rate. Uh, this is Jeff with uh, J.A. Junction. Thanks.